Let's go back to Mike Santoli, who is checking out the chart. Mike. Yeah, Sarah, I mean, the Wall Street Journal today presented it as a question of whether investors are getting overconfident. This little jump in margin debt that we saw, this margin debt more or less tracks the S&P 500. I mean, the equity, ca the equity market cap uh, of the country is the collateral for mar margin debt. So maybe it develops into a problem. Maybe this fits in with a lot of under other indicators of heavy speculation going on right now. It wasn't tell you, though, about how exposed people are to things like leveraged ETFs and other ways that they take on this debt. Yeah, that doesn't actually get measured in here. So I could point to a lot of other things, certain types of ETFs that are basically pure momentum and pure daily leverage. That stuff has looked a little bit crazy. Look at all the uh, huge volumes in call options. Those are inherently leveraged instruments. You pay a small amount and you get exposure to a lot of upside uh, with 100% downside risk if it doesn't go above that strike price. And, and so, Mike, would this include big hedge funds that, that use leverage within their strategies or, or, or not? Yeah, it does get captured in a lot of it. I mean, not all of it, I don't think, is necessarily technically kind of New York Stock Exchange margin as they measure it, but it would uh, get you some of that. Now, hedge funds could also be using leverage of other shorts as well with futures. He gets very sick if he doesn't eat organic food. Bitcoin is looking weak and it looks like we are about to get that long overdue correction that we've all been so patiently waiting for. But how far will it go? Will we see a $20,000 Bitcoin in the near future or ever again? Well, this chart from 2016 will give us some insight into where the Bitcoin price might be headed in the short and long term, we definitely have to pay attention to grayscale. Grayscale is literally buying up all of the Bitcoin, literally all of it. Uh, they just added another $607 million to their trust, effectively pulling more Bitcoin off the market and giving us a bit of a supply crunch. Ethereum has been on a tear lately. So finally, Ethereum steals the show and takes the center stage of this bull run. How far will it go? Are we due for a correction out of Ethereum as well? Well, after putting in a new all-time high, history tells us something that we should be looking out for. Also, 100 swaps. Ethereum decentralized exchange volumes saw $39 billion last month in spite of crazy crazy gas fees. Ethereum is just on an absolute tear right now. And 2021 looks like a damn promising year for the number two cryptocurrency by market cap. Just like Bitcoin though, price action for Ethereum is not looking very strong at the moment. We could be headed for some lower targets here in the short term. We'll definitely go over those in today's video. We will also go over our short term and long term targets for Bitcoin. So you can make sure that you take advantage of this amazing opportunity to buy Bitcoin at premium prices. So make sure you stick around until the end because you do not want to miss this. Self-destruct sequence activated. Three, two, one. Is this your homework, Larry? Just ask him about the car, man. Is this yours, Larry? Is this your homework, Larry? Is that your car out front? Is this your homework, Larry? We, we know it's his fucking homework. Where's the fucking money, you little brat? All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. Johnny here. Before we get going in today's episode, if you guys could please hit that like and subscribe button, it definitely helps out the channel. And don't forget to ding the bell to stay up to date on all the latest and the greatest. All right, looking at this Bitcoin eight hour chart, we are in this contracting triangle pattern, um, which tends to be a bullish continuation pattern. We did get a bit of a sell off over the night. Uh, you could see this little spike in sell volume here uh, and we did and we're right now testing this lower trend line of this contracting triangle which also happens to line up with the 21 daily EMA so if you've been just riding this 21 daily EMA ever since this consolidation pattern started you've been doing pretty well because we've come down and tested this exponential moving average three times so far in this consolidation pattern now 
technically this is a bullish continuation pattern but honestly bitcoin is not looking very strong and it is looking like we're going to get a break to the downside out of this pattern so we have the 1272 fibonacci extension level right below price action here right at 29,000 five hundred and fifty six dollars it's been catching resistance here at the one four one four and just above it at about fifty one thousand dollars we have the one six one eight extension which would be our target if price action is able to break out of this triangle to the bullish side but what we're looking at right now uh right now price action is holding support on this 21 daily ema we are looking for a break down out of this triangle at least to this twenty nine thousand six hundred and four dollar level now it may not come down that low but it may actually come down further so the 21 weekly ema let's go ahead and bring that up here so the 21 weekly ema is all the way down here uh, at the nineteen thousand seven hundred and fifty two dollar level if we did get a break down to that area right around the twenty thousand dollar area that would make a hell of a lot of sense considering there was some pretty serious resistance here as Bitcoin attempted to break that all-time high when what seems like forever ago when it was just in the middle of December of 2020. So what we're looking for here, we are looking for a break down across this lower trend line um, and we are looking for a first stop here. And if Bitcoin does manage to hold this $29,400 uh, support right at this 1212 extension that would be great but i do uh, assume a bit of sideways movement before this bull run continues to the upside now if we do break this level of support we are looking for a move all the way down here to the 21 weekly ema nineteen thousand six hundred and fifty six dollars uh, we are looking for that move to that level and if we did get a breakdown all the way down to twenty thousand dollars it would be an awesome gift it would be an opportunity to get back into this market at a fairly reasonable price and bribe this bull market all the way up to the top, which I really see ending somewhere in the six figure range. All right, so let's take a look at Ethereum. This is the Ethereum Bitcoin chart, five day. Uh, you can see we broke this a long resistance that had been in play for almost, I wanna say four years, three years, um, and actually three years almost on the dot. It broke across this resistance. We did get this huge volume spike here. And then if we take that measured move over here to the point of breakout, that gives us a 360% gain on Bitcoin out of Ethereum. So Ethereum is looking pretty strong against Bitcoin. Let's go ahead and look at Ethereum US dollar. So Ethereum did come up. It effectively did get that brand new all-time high just barely, but it did get it. Um, and breaking across this overhead resistance right here, which was pretty strong right around the $680 level, moving up and then getting that all-time high. This is the five-day chart. Let's go ahead and zoom in here. D, this is the four-hour chart. Uh, we came up, grabbed this new all-time high barely but did get it right at $1,443 according to Bitstamp's chart um, but right now we did break out of this kind of triangle pattern it does look like a W pattern as well but we got a fake out here and it looks like Ethereum is attempting to correct now this could be a bullish confirmation retest of this uh, upper trend line which effectively would be a triangle um, and if that is the case we are looking for a further continuation to the upside if we go ahead and take a trend based fib extension from the beginning of this impulse here to this high and then back down to this low here uh, we came up and it looks like the price action bounced off the 50 percent fib extension um, we are looking for at least a candle body close above this 0.5 extension to give us some confidence that this trend to the upside is going to continue but as of right now i do not have that confidence we did not make it beyond this 50 percent extension level uh, letting me know that the chances of us coming back of ethereum coming back down are pretty strong right now what i'm looking for is a move back down to this 21 daily ema at some point um, and you will really wait to see if it 
hold support there or if it does break through if it breaks through we are looking for a move all the way down to the 21 weekly ema uh, that right now is sitting at 596 dollars now a 50 60 percent correction out of ethereum that sounds a little outrageous uh, but it definitely could happen so this is what we're looking at right now uh, we did get this bullish confirmation as of right now uh, we are looking for further continuation to the upside what we are looking for is a candle body close above the $1,608 level. That, again, this is the four-hour chart. Give us some pretty strong confidence that this trend is, in fact, going to continue. But again, you know, if we do break down, we are looking for a price target of $1,078. Um, and then if price action does break below that, we do have support here at $750. Uh, there is also pretty strong support here at $920. So those will be our two targets. And if we do break below those, we are looking looking for price to come all the way down to the 21 weekly EMA that is just just under 600 US dollars. Okay, again just to recap with Ethereum, there is a possibility that we could get another one last push to the upside out of here. So Bitcoin did make it up to its one to one extension from the March crash uh, and actually exceeded it a bit. It actually made it up to the one two seven two. Maybe we might get the same thing out of Ethereum. So the one to one extension here uh, is at one thousand seven hundred and thirty one dollars. And then if we go ahead and look at the one two seven two, the one two seven two. Uh, is right here at $2,762. Uh, but to be honest with you guys, I really do not see the price making it up that far, uh, especially with all of the bearish divergence we are seeing on the four hour time frame. So I am looking for a move down here to this 21 daily EMA that is sitting at $1,081. Uh, if price action does break below that, we are looking for the bulls to hold support here at $917. If price does break below that, that $917 level, we are looking for some significant further downside. Uh, the first target being $765. Um, and then the last target being the 21 weekly EMA all the way down here at $602.34. But one more final push to the upside of about 30% is possible out of Ethereum. Just be very careful. It could be very volatile if it does happen. Um, and you know the risk of a correction coming at any minute it does exist because of all of the bearish divergences we are seeing across the lower time frames. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for dropping in. I hope you guys are having a great trades and I will see you all tomorrow.